Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on industrial electronics uh, entry, working on DC theory. Uh, we have got the question paper that we are going to focus on uh, from the August 2016 paper, where we are given on direct current theory, indicate on 1.1 whether the following statement is true or false uh, by choosing uh, choose the answer, okay, and write only true or false next to the question number, okay? Uh, Kirchhoff's first law is applicable to series circuits. Okay, we remember we are talking about uh, the first law whereby we are referring to the sum of currents. That is uh, this algebraic sum of currents towards a junction is equal to the current that are flowing away from the junction. So in this case, this cannot be applicable in a series uh, circuit, all right? So this is actually uh, false. Then define the Kirchhoff second law. So the Kirchhoff second law is about the voltages now, which is the EMF. So in this case, if we are dealing with a closed loop, it follows that in a closed loop, the algebraic sum of the EMF acting around the loop is equal to the algebraic sum of the potential differences around that, that loop. That is the product of the current and resistance around the given loop. All right, so this is the consideration that we had. Uh, let's move on to the other part of the question, which is now on 1.3. We are given to study uh, the fig one below and determine the following with the aid of the Kirchhoff's law. That is, uh, in this case, we were given um, the equation to the equation for loop one, which is uh, we are given loop one in this case. So in this case, uh, in this case that we have, it's an advantage because we are already given the loop. You are just following the loop that you are given in this case, okay? So I'm going to take A, B, D, A, all right? A, B, D, A, according to our diagram, this is where we have uh, A, where is our A? Let me just try to reduce like this. So this is loop A, B, A, at this point, B to D, back to A, all right? So let me try to push this direction here. So this is the loop that we are going to use, uh, loop one, uh, which is question 1.31. So this is our loop one, which is A, B to D back to A. So this is the loop already presented, this one, all right? So if you have to check the direction of the flow of current, we have got I1 in this direction to this branch of B, where there is a current given as 0, 0,012, and from D, to A, we are going this direction, but we are, which means we are opposing the direction of flow of I2. So this one is going to be a negative, all right? Taking note of the voltage, to say the voltage drop that we have in this case is equal to zero. We do not have a voltage drop. So we are going to use zero as our voltage drop. So that means zero is equal to, uh, let's start from A to B, from this branch A to B. We have I1 and the 10 ohm. So this is going to be current times resistance, which is 10 times I1. We move on from B to D. There is a current already given and we are maintaining the direction of flow of current. So this one is going to be a positive. That's uh, current 0, 0,012 times the resistance, which is uh, 5 ohms in this case. All right. Then from D, back to point A, that's why I was saying this is opposite, the direction we are going this way, but the current is moving the other direction. So this one is going to be a negative, all right? So we've got current times resistance, which is 25 ohms, and our current I2. So this is going to be negative 25 I2, like that, all right? So that is what you're going to have. We have formulated the equation, then we can actually solve, uh, we can just uh, have it in simplest form, so you can multiply the two here, that's 0, 0,012 times 5, which is going to give us uh, 0, uh, 0,06 minus 25 I2. So you can transpose the 0, 0,06 to this side, uh, which is going to be minus 0, 0,06 is equal to, uh, here I'm going to remain with uh, 10 I1 minus 25 I2 from the other branch, which means that is our uh, equation. That's 10 I1 minus 25 I2 is equal to minus 0, 0,06 like this. All right, so we've got our first uh, part of the equation from the loop uh, A, B, D, back to A, the one that you're given in the first place. So if you are given, you follow the one that you're given. Then the other part is uh, 
we are supposed to take now 1.32, the equation of loop two, which is B, C, uh, B, C, D, B, all right? So let me have it uh, on this side. So this time we are to consider our second loop, uh, that's 1.32, which is our loop two in this case. Uh, so our loop two is given as uh, B, C, D, B. That is uh, from B, okay, let's check from our diagram. Uh, where do we have our B? From the point B to the point C to the point D to the, so they actually using this one that they already indicated this one in black. So this is the one that you're going to use. So from here, we can note that uh, we can just use the same concept, just like the previous part to say the voltages, which is in this case, we do not have a voltage drop in this branch that is indicated. So it is going to be equal to zero. So let's start from B to C. In this branch, we are maintaining the direction of flow of current. So we're going to multiply the current as it is to the resistance. So our current in this case is I1 minus, we are already given as I1 minus 0, 0,012. So it's going to be multiplied to 15. So it is going to be 15 into I1 minus 0, 0,012. All right. We move on from this point C to the point D, the current is going this way. As we are moving this way, C, D, this is the direction. We are opposing this arrow, the direction of the arrow. So this is going to be a negative. So our answer is going to be negative. We multiply the current, which is I2 plus 0, 0,012 to the R3, which is uh, the 20 ohm resistor. So this is going to be negative uh, 20 times I2 plus this one. So this one is going to be I2 plus 0, 0,012 like this. All right. We move on uh, from this branch now from D back to the point B. This is D back to B. Uh, we are going this way. B, D, B. This is D to B. This is our direction. But the current is already given in this direction, which means we are opposing the given direction. So this one again is going to be a minus. We subtract because it is opposing the direction. So that's current times resistance, which is 0, uh, 0.012 times the resistance, which is the 5 ohm. So we are going to multiply to 5. That is... Uh, current times resistance like this. All right, so we have formulated an equation that we need to simplify further, uh, collecting like terms, expanding the brackets and so forth. All right, so let's uh, expand the first bracket by 15. That's 15 times I1, which is 15 I1. Uh, 15 times negative 0, 0,012, that's a negative uh, 0, 0,18. Minus 20 times I2, that's minus 20 I2. This is minus 20 times a positive, positive and negative. That's a negative. So you're going to obtain negative uh, 0, uh, 0,24. If we multiply minus 0, 0,012 times 5, we are going to obtain minus 0, 0,06. All right. So we have got like terms that we are going to consider, which is I1. Uh, okay, I1 is not having a, any like terms. So this is just going to be 0 is equal to 15. I1. We move on to the part of uh, I2. Also, I2 does not have a, a, a like term. So this is going to remain as it is. That's minus 20 I2. So the like terms are the numbers, which is the minus 0, 0,18 minus 2,4 minus 0, 0,06. So if we are to uh, combine these terms together, we are going to obtain negative 0, 0,48. So you can transpose this to the other side so that it can be a positive in this case. That's uh, 0, 0,48 is equal to uh, 15 I1 minus 20 I2 like this. All right, so we have the second equation from this loop that we can even write, uh, even starting with uh, uh, this part here, we can even write from the right-hand side. So it actually depends with the side uh, that you are going to take, all right? So in this case, I'm going to start from the, I'm going to just take from the right-hand side, that's 15 I1 minus 20 I2 is equal to uh, 0, 0,48 like this. All right, so this is 
what we are going to have in this case as our second equation from this part, all right? So we're going to take these two now to solve for the other person that you are given now. Uh, we are asked to, on person 1.33, now to use these to calculate the magnitude of the currents I1 and I2 by making use of the equations, or uh, that is what we had from 1.31, and question 1.32. All right, so from 1.31, this is the first equation that we got. So we are going to use the first equation. So this is 1.33, which is uh, 10 plus 10 I1 minus 25 I2 is equal to uh, minus 0, 0.06. All right, then from our second loop, from this loop, we have got uh, 15 I1 minus 20 I2, which is equal to 0, 0.06. For eight. So we're going to have this as our second equation. From there, we can actually solve our equation in this case, our equations, all right? So we say the second equation is going to be 15 uh, I1 minus 20 I2, which is equal to 0, 0,48, all right? So from this information, if you have to take into consideration uh, the first part, uh, depending with how you want to eliminate uh, and so forth. This part I've explained so many times, so I think now we understand, guys. Uh, in case of eliminating I2, let's say I want to uh, find I1. For me to find I1, I have to eliminate uh, I2 in this case, all right? So if I eliminate I2, that means I'm uh, I'm going to calculate I1 in this case. So to eliminate I2, I just have to interchange these numbers. There we have got uh, 25. Uh, below, we've got a 20. So you're going to multiply uh, by 20. Uh, on top, below, you're going to multiply by 25. But you can reduce these numbers since you can see that here, if we reduce by 5, this is 4. If we reduce by 5, this is 5. So you can multiply by 5. Uh, by four and five, instead of using bigger numbers like 20 and 25, we can reduce these terms. Uh, then you can multiply. Four is multiplying the whole of equation one. And uh, five is multiplying the whole of equation two. So that's four times 10, which is 40, I1. Four times negative 25, which is uh, a negative 100, I2 is equal to four times the minus 0, 0,06, which is going to give us a negative uh, 0, 0,24, okay? We move on. Uh, five times the other equation, equation two, we multiply by five everything. So that's five times 15, which is uh, 75 I1. Five times a negative 20, which is minus 100 I2. Five times 0, 0,48, which is going to give us a 2,4. Remember what I told you guys that whenever the signs are the same, a negative and a negative, because we want to eliminate I2, we have a negative sign, a negative sign. In this case, you subtract whether it's a positive for as long the signs are the same, you subtract, all right? So we are going to subtract, uh, that's equation one minus equation two. 40 minus 75, that is what we are going to do. So 40 minus 75, that's minus 35 I1. If we are to subtract this uh, minus 100 minus, minus, both there is a minus and another minus is going to be like this, minus, minus like this. This is going to give us a zero because it's going to be a plus. So that's a zero in this case. We move on to the other part. It's minus 0, 0,24 minus 2,4. So the sign affects throughout. So this is going to give us uh, negative 2,64 uh, and so forth. So this is going to be equivalent to negative uh, 2,64. Finding I1, we can divide by negative 35, both sides by negative 35. That means we've got I1 in this case. So I1 is going to be equal to negative, negative definitely cancels. We're going to obtain a positive, which is 0, 0,0. 75428 and so forth. So depending with you want to write your answer in milliamps or you want to just have your answer uh as a normal current as it is, uh it depends with your presentation. So in this case, I'm just going to leave my answer as it is, but rounding off to three decimal places, uh, this is going to give us I1 as uh one, two, three. So it's going to be 0, 0,075. Or like I said, you can even write this in milliamps. 
which is something like 75,4 to something milliamps, all right? So that is what I'm going to have as my I1. From this current, I can now substitute into any one of the given equations so that I'm going to find uh, I2 in this case, all right? So in this case, I'm going to substitute into the first equation uh, before we multiply this one, which was uh, 10. It was given as 10 I1 minus 25 I2, which is equal to minus 0 0.06. So I'm going to use this equation now to calculate uh, I2. Since I have the value for I1, that means I'm going to substitute I1, which is going to be 10 times I1. That's uh, 0 0.075 minus uh, 25 uh, I2 is equal to minus 0 0.06. All right, so that's it. We can combine 10 times uh, 0 0.07 is going to be uh, 0 0.75 minus uh, 25 I2 equal to minus 0, 0,06. So we can transpose uh, that is the 0, 0,75. We remain with minus 25 I2. So this is going to be a negative on the other side, which is minus 7,5, minus 0, 0,75. So if we are to subtract minus 0, 0,6, 0, 6, minus 0, 0,75, this is going to be a minus uh, 0, 0,81. So to find I1, we can divide by negative 25 both sides by negative 25 both sides. This cancels the negative 25 so that you remain with only uh, I2 in this case. So this is your I2, negative and negative gives us a positive in this case. So if you have the positive, you can uh, have your final answer as, uh, this is going to be, uh, 0, uh, 0,3 something. So this is going to be uh, 0, 0,0324. Yes, something like that. All right. So you can round off as three two to three decimal places as per instruction if you are not to write this in milliamps. So it, the best way, yes, is to write your answer in milliamps, but you can even leave your answer at this stage for others to convert now to milliamps. It becomes a problem. So just leave your answer like that. They will actually mark you uh, everything correct. You actually obtain the full marks. So that was the consideration of the question. It was to calculate the magnitude of current I1 and I2. So that is what we had uh, from this diagram. So guys, you have to be very, very careful using the loop that you are given from the question paper. You must follow the loop each branch separately equating to the uh, voltage source. So if the voltage is not uh, given or presented, you equate that one or you use it as a zero. So that is how you can attempt such typical questions. Okay, guys, that's what we had uh, from Amazon African Motives uh, till we meet again.